you've got a machine learning 101 tutorial. What does machine learning allow us to do that we just wouldn't be able to do otherwise? I recognize it's a big question. Yeah, so I think of machine learning as basically just applied math, and in that way it allows us to um, come up with precise mathematical uh, models of imprecise but observed data. And it allows us to see the hidden patterns of the past and the future through these observed data, and it extends our knowledge into the future that we can't see yet. So it allows us to make predictions um, about how the data might look like in the future. Uh is machine learning itself at a point where you don't actually have to be a data scientist to take advantage of it? Um, there are good tools that allows you to get started very quickly with minimal knowledge, but I think to get the state-of-the-art performance still requires um, rigorous quantitative thinking mm. as well as an understanding of the underlying modeling principles, and both of those are essential skills of a data scientist. How did you get into machine learning? What did you find appealing about it? Um, I got into machine learning because as an undergrad, I really enjoyed um, hardware. I enjoyed hacking on hardware and software and mathematics. And so when I um, was trying to pick a topic for grad school, I thought, oh, maybe a perfect, maybe a combination of all three, which led me to robotics, but that seemed too hard because Hardware takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, okay, then the other two, which is <laughs> software plus mathematics, which led me to machine learning and artificial intelligence. What is the biggest technical issue that you're facing right now? Right now, I think that the biggest technical issue is, uh, is a lack of understanding and um, principles around feature engineering, which is really crucial to getting um, to making the best applications using machine learning, but right now is done in a kind of ad hoc way. How about five years ago? What was the single biggest issue you were encountering then, and did it resolve? Um, I think so. I, I think, well, it's still being resolved, but I see, I see the horizon. Mm. Um, five years ago, I think the most pressing problem on, on my mind, and as well as those of researchers um, that, that I worked with, or this problem of model parameter tuning, model hyperparameter tuning. So hyperparameters are kind of like this um, magical number with machine learning models that people tune using you know, not well understood methods and almost seem like a black art, black magic. Um, and, and we started to develop smarter tools that can do that automatically to take some of the guesswork out of that process. And combined with just you know, a huge amount of computing power, I think that problem is well, being well addressed right now. You wrote a really thoughtful piece recently where you said that we should measure ourselves against what we've learned as opposed to what others have learned or what mm -hmm. they can do. What was it like for you when you reached that conclusion for yourself? Was it liberating? Uh, certainly, yeah, it was very liberating. I think part of um, part of the thing that doesn't really work well in our school system is this notion of stack ranking. And it kind of assumes that we all started on the same starting point, which is just not true. And we also had different amounts of help along the way. So, you know, when we stack rank ourselves against other people, we get can get discouraged by, oh man, how much I don't know compared to this other person. Um, I think it's much more liberating and affirming and just better overall for our own progress to measure ourselves against our old selves, against how much we don't didn't know before and how much more we know now. Um, I think that's just a better way of development. Last question for you, what people or projects are you following? Um, so, um, I, like everyone else, I'm really overwhelmed with information, <laughs> and I've, I resort to getting all my news about research and about industry and about my friends through my social networks on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, but I really, with that said, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy the O'Reilly newsletter. And well, thank you. I, <laughs> I do. I think it's really high signal to noise ratio. Um, and I like uh, 538.org. Mm -hmm. And I like, um, 
I like the technical blog from Stitch Fix. And of course, I like Datto's own machine learning mm -hmm. blog, which I contributed to. Great, well thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.